Good morning, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us as we continue our series about karma and the 12 primary laws of karma. There are many different ways people interpret these laws in different cultures, and so sometimes I'm giving you a couple of perspectives on them each week as we dive a little deeper into each one. And the laws of karma we left off last time, mentioning that it's not about the result that happens to you. Sometimes people think about karma and they're like, oh, I, well, that bad thing's gonna return to that person, so I feel better and vindicated within myself. Or they may fear and do certain activities because they feel like, well, if I don't do this bad thing, but I do this good thing, then I'm building good karma. But it doesn't really work like that either because it's about your thoughts, your intention, your motives, those deeper parts that are within you. So if you're doing it simply to build those good points, then those points don't really count for as much as they would if you're really truly genuinely doing out of the kindness of your heart and your compassion for the fellow human or animal that you're doing the good act for. And it's an accumulation. It's much more than just even the cause and effect that we talked about though. It's truly about a way to look at where your mind is and where your thoughts are because where your mind and your thoughts are is what is creating your reality of your entire life. And it's kind of like getting the keys to understanding the code about how what your mind does think, you know, all of those things and how that is going to impact your life. It's really understanding that codex when you understand the laws of karma. It's a way to see the roadmap between the condition of your brain and the condition of the universal mind or the, the universal all that is and how those mesh together. So this eighth law is the law of willingness. And this law is one that states that in part, what you believe to be true, the universe is going to demonstrate that for you. So if you have really positive thoughts and you expect the best and you're trying to manifest something so you're thinking it, seeing it, writing it down, believing it, then that is going to happen for you. And if your thoughts are negative or frustrated with things or you feel like life is always unfair, you were dealt a bad load in your childhood and you're just going to always be dealt bad cards, then the universe is going to keep demonstrating that to you because that's what you see, that's what you focus on, that's what you believe, that's what you're drawing to you, attracting to you with the vibration of where you're living within your life. But we don't always live in the same mode all of the time throughout our life. We have ups and downs. We have challenges that come in and out. We have things that sometimes shake our world quite a bit and we have to figure out where our footing is again. We may normally be a very positive person and have things that shake us up and we quickly come back to those positive beliefs. Or maybe you're someone that struggles and is a very negative person oftentimes expecting that the world will always fall down around you but sometimes good things happen and it kind of picks you up for a little bit. Most of us are somewhere in the middle with that. Especially as you start to learn and grow, you begin to find out how to consciously seek those things that will bring in the positive, that will help you to see those rays of hope. It's something I had to work on quite a bit in my own life. I have struggled, especially when I was younger, with very, very deep uh, major depression issues and had gone through different periods of being suicidal and that depression can sometimes creep in. I have learned how to set my mind to a higher place to be able to focus on the good things and to see that start to turn things around in my world where it felt like instead of everything always kind of crashing in in certain ways, I've been able to bring myself into those higher your thoughts but I'm still human so there are times when I least expect it and sometimes things are going good sometimes they may not be going good and I find myself just quickly plummeting into those deeper depths but through tools that I've learned over my life I've learned how to more quickly bring myself back up to knowing that things are going to be okay regardless of how things seem in any single moment our perception shapes so much of our reality. And when you can truly, truly get that and truly understand it, you get to a point where you can recognize 
no matter what those mood cycles are that come up in your life, you're able to see that things will turn and you have the ability within you to change that. One of the things that I find really fascinating with this is that when you're, if, you know, even myself as an example, when I'm in a, a positive mind as I normally tend to be, then things, I sit, tend to see the good in everything and everyone around me. And sometimes if I go into those little deeper depression, if it seems to grab a hold of me, I'll notice that everything that I normally look at in a good lens, suddenly I see all of the faults within it. I see all of the flaws. I see how people let me down or how things let me down or how things just don't seem to work at times. And yet I can know as I look deeper within my own mind, those things didn't really change. They didn't really shift. It's what I'm focusing on that shifted. And so being able to pull yourself back and recognize how much your perception changes, what you see in the world, how much your perception and what you recognize changes and shapes those things that are happening around you because you are living in the reality where your perception is. Have you ever noticed that sometimes two people can be in the exact same room and they seem to be living in totally different realities even if they're in the same household and experiencing the same thing. Children are a good way to think of that. Two children can grow up raised this exact same way and one feels totally slighted and the other feels like they had a magical childhood or somewhere in the middle and they have their memories are different or people are married for a long time and their memories will be so different of different experiences because your perception shapes your reality no matter what experience that is your perception will sh shape what things you remember and how you remember that it even happened it's a fascinating thing but there's a, so much power within that when you begin to recognize that when negative outer circumstances challenge your beliefs you just hold on to your beliefs and you don't let those temporary negative influence influences change them where if you feel like life is starting to become too challenging or you feel like you wake up with a sense of dread and you just can't go on or whatever level that is recognizing within yourself and remembering the ray of hope that there was a time where you weren't dreading things so much and you are still the exact same person within you that you were at that point when things didn't seem to be such a fearful or dreading or whatever it is and when you recognize that you can pull back this thread of who you are and you can rise up to the higher level and start to make yourself see the good in the things that are around you see even the small things maybe it's a blue sky maybe it's the sound of the birds maybe it's a kind thing that a friend did whatever it is that you pull yourself into and you start seeing those positive things and you start seeing what positive things you can do yourself what positive things can you do within yourself to bring yourself up to this more positive level of reality and where you can bring that power into yourself of knowing that if things ever get to the point where they feel hopeless you have the ability to change everything in your life think of it as all options are open at that point and decide what it is that you want to do within yourself if you do change your beliefs to negative ones, the universe will switch and it will show you more of the negative as your perception starts queuing in on those different negative aspects. But if you keep believing in the positive or you shift your mind up so you start seeing those positive aspects, even if it seems a little hard at first, even if you feel like you're lying to yourself a little bit at first, it's okay. Start seeing the positive things that are around you and the universe will turn that into something that once seen negative into something that you can see is actually positive. The other aspect of this eighth law of karma is that sometimes it's called the law of giving and hospitality. The law of karma is all about selflessness, being giving to others, and practicing what you preach. And I feel like this definition of the eighth law co coincides so well with the last law because if what you're focusing on is what you're creating and what you're putting out in the universe is what you're drawing to yourself, then if you're doing selfless acts 
If you're giving to others simply out of the kindness of your heart and not expecting anything in return from the universe or that other person, and you're beginning to really truly practice what you preach with whatever positive messages you would tell another friend or someone that was coming to you for advice, give yourself that same advice and practice those good aspects, you're going to see this law of karma giving back to you. The more selfless you are, the more you give for the sake of sh sharing for the sake of sharing or giving for the sake of giving, the more you're going to see the universe opening up and gifting you with abundance, peace, joy, light within your life, light within your heart. It's about ensuring that you're not simply saying and thinking good thoughts, but you're really walking the walk and following those beliefs with action. I know one of the things that I had heard somebody use as an example recently was a really good example. And they said, have you ever noticed sometimes when people come into church and they'll be so kind to everybody there and they're smiling to everyone there and they're being very of the mind of the church while they're in the building and they go out into the parking lot and as soon as they're you know trying to find their parking spot they're yelling at the person that might have cut them off or they're trying to race ahead and cut the next person off or they're just right into where their normal outer world mindset is it's important to be lit where you live with integrity and those aspects that you want people to see in you when you're outside of your home need to be the aspects that you live with when you're in inside the home with those that are closest to you, your family, your loved ones, those that are closest to you should be the ones that you care most about how you seem. Those that are out in the world when you're going into the grocery store and you're reaching for that last item that's on the shelf, that person that you don't know that you're debating, will you let them have it or are you taking it? That person also matters just as much because you are creating your entire world and your reality by what you put out into the world, your actions, your thoughts, and where your mind is, your intention behind every single action. And it takes time to really focus in on what that intention is. I think so many people don't even really know what their intention is within themselves. They simply act, they're reacting to things instead of stopping, pausing, and deciding how they're consciously going to act. And when you stop and you pause and you recognize how would I want to be treated on the other side of this? How can I extend that hospitality? How can I share more of what I have? And knowing that as you start doing that, you're going to start seeing more positivity flowing into you from the universe. You're going to start seeing this law of giving and hospitality and law of willingness start opening up within yourself in beautiful and amazing ways. This is an amazing aspect of karma that really flows through all of the other laws that we're going to be talking about and that we have talked about already. It's about coming deeper into yourself and really living with integrity and truly caring about every other single living soul that is out there, be they animal, human, spider, insect, or whatever it is. I hope this gives you some food for thought challenges you to push a little bit more out of your comfort zone into the positive lights. We can all grow in different ways. So wherever you are at with this, think of how you can grow this even more and you're going to see it reflect in your life in beautiful ways. If you haven't already, please hit that like button on our Facebook page or subscribe on our YouTube channel. And if you click the bell button, you can choose how often you want to get notifications of our videos. Thank you so much. We'll see you next week. Have a great week, everyone.